Hello everybody, welcome back to Sanitarium Commentary with your host Wizbro100 and here with me is... Hitman again. Yeah, so now we're continuing from last time when we were playing Sanitarium. I was really, really looking forward to doing the next commentary with Hitman here. So previously we finished what chapter 1 and 2 with, uh, if you all remember, we were in the town of Jeanette with, uh, or however you pronounce it, with the kids and uh, mother. And now we're back in reality in chapter 3. Yeah, and we, it seems to be a bit of a pattern here where we're going from reality to hallucination. Yeah, I'd say back to reality. Hallucination? Question mark. It's hard. It's hard to say whether these are like real worlds or to what extent they're real worlds. Yeah, the game does that like a lot, so it kind of breaks up between reality and the hallucination Max goes through. And here we have we meet a bunch of other. Uh, Insane uh, people, man. or you know, people that are considered crazy. Yeah, this guy I'm thinks crazy. he's Elvis, of course. Always good to see insanity in games uh, depicted, you know, with uh, appropriate levity and variety. Yes, indeed. Because usually, when you think insane, uh, some people would usually think like, "Oh, they're just crazy, and they, you know, they just want to kill people or, and break stuff." But you know, that's not necessary. That's not wrong, but there's different well, types of insanity. Uh, there, there's a se there's several like crazy archetypes in fiction. There's the guy there's the guy that like in fiction more generally than video games. Like there's the guy that thinks he's someone else. Like this guy. There's the um, person that just spouts incoherent gibberish. There's someone who's like thinks you know that they're like a different age or gender or whatever than they are. Some people uh, chalk it up as like confusion. like this guy. Oh, this guy who who's in a tutu Excuse and looks like Mr. Burns from The Simpsons. Yeah, Where is I mean, that not that, you know, coming from? thinking you're the wrong gender necessarily know. make you crazy, but this guy's clearly not a little girl. Yeah. And then there's, um, also people that are just, you know, just paranoid and have, like, weird delusions. Like, which, uh, which does happen. You know L like in the first part where the guy was talking about bugs crawling Very all over funny. him, but we obviously don't see anything. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of stuff does happen. Uh, it's like paranoid schizophrenia. What yeah, so, so that old man with the tutu uh, comes into play uh, slightly later within this area. And I I'm gl hmm? glad we get to see him again. Yes, yeah, so he does something funny, and Max has a funny comment on it. Dumbroski. This guy's a dumbro. This guy is one of the guards, uh, of course, because, uh, oh, he's that kind of tough guy, kind of tough guy. Where is that awful Not sure the orderly is supposed to threaten to beat up the patients, it, but, you know, I guess that's how he uh, gets his kicks. Test? And it depends on what Maggie? asylum we're in. We also Maggie? need a... Hmm? I know this will sound nuts, but Wait, what? <laughs> I know this will sound nuts, but I was... <laughs> Why would you tell him this? Because, well, in Max's situation, I guess he just wanted someone to know and believe him, but, like, these orderlies are just like, Ah, this guy's crazy. Hey, Doc, chalk him up with a few other things and, uh, calm Not down the crazy. Guy at all. You're in an insane asylum. From Why here. would you think that they would just be like, Oh, really? A town full of, like, little kids and a giant plant monster? We better go investigate me, this. By yeah, the exactly. way, where is it? Oh, wait. I have no idea where it is. Christ. In fact, I don't even know how I got here. Yeah, then it just sounds crazy after all. It's like telling people to investigate your dream by Where going to I? your dream. Where do you think? Yeah, clearly. Asylum, you so pretty much most of these guards are assholes, if you Why can't tell. Why is my head all wrapped up like this? Because you're so freaking ugly, I guess. <laughs> okay, mommy man, I'll be straight with you. You see, when the little green men came to... Ah, uh, forget it, you jerk. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But that's... I'm not crazy. Hey, don't blow a head, Pipe Psycho. That act won't get you anywhere with me. Where is that awful music? You mean you don't Interesting, see the uh... Interesting, uh... Very funny. Assortment of, you know... You lost your sense of humor stupid you thugs. Lost stupid authority thugs, I uh... Sound nuts. Pink what elephants, was that a you? Disney Why thing? go back there? <laughs> That's probably the best response possible to what Max is saying, honestly. Uh, which one oh, he's that? actually blocking your way. Yes, you will see some of these characters actually block your way, and it gets really annoying, especially that we'll... Well, we'll see this later on in the game. Uh, or actually, in the next chapter, we go right in this video. Someone should fix that, too. Lots of pipes need to be fixed. So this guy has a fish. He's carrying a fish with him. He thinks he's a captain. On top of that guy holding a fish, that pipe is leaking. 
I don't know why I looked at the pipe. It doesn't do anything. It's just a uh, um, flavor text. Anyways, this guy kind of looks like uh, Armac 21. Quit talking to me. I need to sleep off me hangover from shore league. Angry bolt me. man. It's a, it's a, he said me, but it said my. Oh, well. Yeah, so we need to get into that shed. Sort of control box for these and that control boxes. there is to control the water right for us to do something to proceed in the game. You know, Max, maybe you should just chill for a while. Right you know, wait for the next impressive. review where they, like, interview you and try to see if you're sane and then... Quite a big Try and be sane, I don't know. Why is that but no, as the angel lip, said in the first uh, chapter, uh, seek the truth. Otherwise, this would be a very weird Excuse game. Me. Good point. What I don't know, if I, if I just happen to I find myself in an insane asylum, not being sane, nice. or and not being I insane, my, I, I, my first instinct wouldn't be, hey, let's start breaking shit. Where is that? And start telling people I'm not insane and just say everything on my mind. Yeah, and just say what I just... You know, you basically the contents of a dream as if it was it actually happened. Yummy in my tummy. This lady's kind of creepy. She that? gives me the Harley Quinn kind of feel. Put him in a pot, add some potatoes, and see what you've got. It's like it's, well, Harley Quinn's not quite yeah. insane. Talk to you but later. Bye. Tabling the comic book discussion. Oh, kind it's kind of funny though because she really did work like uh, in Arkham Asylum. Yeah, and then the Joker like convinced her with some uh, kind of weird trees are sob these? story. Yes. How Who is that sitting there? Books. Kind of monk? Yeah, that's what it looks Doctor? like. Are you I doctor? don't remember exactly what she suppo what significance Welcome she has, but uh, I've already managed some kind of bizarre, like blind, you know, person, future seer. Yeah, something like that. So we're getting another flashback. So our name so is Max, Max Lawton, Lawton, a doctor. So. Hey, we're a doctor. What? Doctor. What? What? Why did all this happen? Are you all right? She's here to trigger your memory. Oh, I'm I'm okay. Thank you. Yes. Hey, she's got the little hair loopy doctor, things like the character from uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, oh geez. I was hoping oh. you were a new. Doctor. And you saw that movie too, the live Is action one. Yeah, I saw that. But she didn't have the hair loops in that one. I've been so lonely. Did she? I don't remember. I, mm, I don't think so, but I definitely know what you're talking about. Again. Yeah, but who's friend? The friend is uh, something that Who is your you friend? can see. Craig. Oh well, yeah, Craig. Well, what's wrong with him? Does he have laryngitis? I, I don't know. Yeah, you have to huh. solve a puzzle for her to move Maybe. on to the next uh, chapter in this game. All I know is that he hasn't visited or talked to me in a while. Oh, has interesting. Craig gone away? Maybe he was released from the asylum and didn't tell you. Yeah, his name is Craig. Mm -hmm. He's way over there, and he points to a mountain mm -hmm. range. Craig is actually right next to us, but uh, he, me, but uh, Craig isn't talking until we solve the puzzle to huh. uh, get on. You'll see what I mean, like uh, I mean, later on. There are other people here to talk to. I don't like them. They're all crazy. <laughs> They're all crazy. Craig was different. He was tall, dark. How did she see this actually? If she's blind, yeah, she, she, she looks blind. Like her her eye sockets look like pure white. Yeah, unless she's like some one of those like uh, dark elves or something where their pupil pupils are all just one color. Okay, he can clearly see her. We can clearly see her face there. Yeah. I guess he's not looking at the right angle. The the impression, but I guess like uh, she doesn't realize she's not really covering up her face. How did that happen? Well, where uh, it's like you clicked off it, but if you, you right click, it cancels out the the the, the conversation box. So you'll sometimes see me accidentally do it because I have a twitchy out? middle finger. Um, huh? I don't know. Where do these big doors lead? It sounds like someone's inside. Which we will preacher need to go Bob in. Is giving a sermon inside. Oh, preacher Bob. I wanted to go into the Lord and Savior, myself, preacher Bob. Stuck. I can't budge him. How did the preacher get inside if the chapel I am the Lord stuck? in Christ. Oh, the I am the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, the Lord Gosh, and oh, amen. Now, I thought the doors oh, were... She, now, I thought... Uh, yeah, she moves out of the way so that we can actually uh, enter through the door, which I thought were locked, so I looked around for items to see if I could Whoa, open it. those are some big doors. Who ever heard of a stained glass window with clown faces? Yeah, what on earth is that? Weird. Wait, what? Yeah, you see, you see the clown face on the yeah, stained yes, glass window. Yes, yes, weird. I do. Yeah, that is quite weird. I did not notice that. 
Excuse me, what's your name? Jeez, Max. This this is the guy. This is the nice guy. Before that, I'm Bruce. Bruce Chambers, remember? Not Bruce Wayne. Man, that wreck must have really rattled your brain. I would kind of expect that. Yeah. Yeah, this guy actually like talks to us about like what we might have possibly been seeing. So it kind of gives gives food for thought. Where am I? You've been here before, don't you remember? No, this place isn't familiar at all. Especially to us. Well, it's bizarre because clearly he should remember like at least a few days ago. But I'm not Short-term memory? Sure. Yeah, I don't know. Where is that off? Oh, the observation room. Dr. Morgan said that he was doing some auditory We are going to meet Dr. Morgan in this auditory experiments. Yes. Playing it's like white noise. Oh, here's here's the thing. You you mean you believe me? No, I mean it sounds nuts. Just take your pill max and you'll feel better. Oh. That's weird. I thought he was the one that tries to explain like what Max might have been seeing or is it the other guy? I think it might have been this guy actually. Oh, there's a psychoanalyst in yeah. the business. Excuse me, what's your name? John Whitefoot, Max. Don't white you foot? White no, foot? Something tells me his foot's not going to be white. Where am I? Well, he's kind of, he's pretty white. Course. In the courtyard. Yeah, we I don't know. He's, to he's like American Indian or because of the explosion. I guess I mean I just assume. What explosion? The his name is Whitefoot. Supposed to be repaired this week. Max apparently didn't remember, like, uh, in the tower, the generator was, you know, blowing up. Yeah, that's weird. We were the only one who survived, my friend. Yes, we were the only ones. I'm the only survivor. Look at this. Oh, god. <laughs> my <laughs> god! I'd say fifteen or so. Well, we only saw like about six. With well, one of them being Mike. See, this is the bizarre part because there's a. Uh, it looks like just an insane, you know, acid trip kind of thing you, you that had Max. Try me. Um, like to know how you survived this disaster. The, you know, had Max uh, in this weird little town, but right here at the same time he's, he's, he's talking about it. Same as he's being like saved by his hallucinations. So there must be something happening. Yeah, he he explains it right here. That's not true. Like here's his theory. I have my own theory on what could have happened to you. I'm not crazy. That's a familiar story around here, my friend. Once I get to him talking about it, of Where course. Oh, okay, there's a theory option. A few theories on how music like, gee, the patients. I wonder if I play annoying carnival music, music if it will annoy music. the patients. Like, t Total Recall? Well, I the think, NES game, uh, maybe. Okay, here's maybe. His, his explanation. I thought of you abandoning those who needed help, so you constructed a world to hide in, inside your mind, until it was... So he is a psychoanalyst. The town or at least he's trying to be. You clearly repressed the castration complex represented the doctors and other of your youth figures who weren't around to help. And the uncanny feeling of your dream right. interpreter. Uh, but it all seems so real. It your is real is to you. Full of wondrous things, Max. In your head, it was real. One of the more interesting conversations, trying to rationalize what Max was going through. Yeah. So in his mind, he just ran away somehow. Yes. But in well, a, I'm not sure how he would have gotten down from there, because it didn't look like there was any path down. No, there wasn't. Some things are... There are some holes that are just not explained. That's Dr. Morgan. It is Dr. Morgan? Jesus. I didn't think we were going to meet him. wonder if I can get any news from the outside world. Of course, you can't touch the radio. Must be part of Morgan's work. I'm not sure what Dr. Morgan's working on here, aside from the auditory uh, experiment. Part of Morgan's work. Yeah, what does that have to do with... A record. Rockabilly swing Anything. Thing. Mm, I don't know, but uh, we do Belladonna need to play some of the music to cause flag. something to happen. Oh, okay, I'm guessing you play the the Belladonna in order to get the the old man of the tutu to no. Yeah, pretty dance. much. And then you get Rockabilly. You put the Rockabilly on for Elvis there. Hello. Which doesn't really you do anything, as you'll find out. Hmm? Oh. I don't know. You're just being nice lost to him. You in the fire, Max. Where have you been? I'm gonna just say this and not not spoilers or anything, but when uh, I think even when we were both playing at the same time, I always thought Doctor Morgan was kind of a scumbag. Go away! Like he was a bad guy. I told you before that you need to stay in control if you expect to get well. Listen to his sinister, like calm voice. In my mind, Doctor Morgan, I was in an actual place, a small town with children. They were real. They look at my angry face. Don't get all excited. I can have one of the orderlies restrain you if necessary. Will it be necessary, Max? Right when he said that, I was like, yeah, you're kind of... You're, you're not really a good guy. 
Because he doesn't show any signs of being violent at the moment. He's kind of like more cynical, sort of. Thing, Max. Right. Getting other I people to do his dirty work. For you. Perhaps we can talk later. Right, no, I, I meant Max. Max didn't seem violent, so he make, wouldn't make sense to get the orderly to restrain him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least from, like, uh, how we're seeing it right now. We could only save so many. We could only save so many. I got one. Yeah, just one. Just max. The max you can save is one. The fire. It wiped oh, out wow. all of the cells in the tower. Everyone inside. I wonder why the generator blew up alive. earlier. Oh, they did say that it was, no it was in need of fixing. Does anyone know what happened to make the generator explode? We Good question. Discovered the cause yet, but of course. Wait, what? About all the patients. One of the other orderlies right said, now, like, uh, oh, it wasn't fixed. Uh, they were trying to get it fixed, but they got lazy well with it. Things, do we? No. Doctor Morgan, well, are you that's lying still... to us? What are you writing, no, that's not necessarily a reason, I guess. Conducting an experiment. The effects of different types of music on all the patients. He's not really doing anything with the music, so we're gonna have to do the work for him. Now there's how, did you, how did you do, Mr. Record Player? Got to give you a shake and scratch. So now we had uh, we have another thing with record players, like one from jazz punk, record. and now here. The Ballad of Captain uh, actually, Dick. really, the Ballad of Captain Dick. Oh, you Moby play Dick, that's a the record. guy. A record. A record. We don't we don't have a to. Record. A record. A record. Oh, is he gonna dance with his wall. fish? A record, yes. A record, a the record, Donner Party record, Waltz. Oh, a record, a record, nice. A record, a record, a record, a record, Are you trying to do a remix a record, with this? A record, it just sounded record, funny with him saying a record, a record, a record, a record. Each of them was like said differently. Yeah. I right here he's dancing with his fish. With fish. Oh, come on, Max. Well, if he's sleeping with them, he'd be pretty dead. What do you think about the oh, pretty much if you talk to any of them when you play certain music, they'd just be like, uh, it'd just be about the music and nothing really interesting. Right, so you're not going to ask all of them what, you know, no. their response to each of them. Okay. I did go to ask, talk to Elvis, but he didn't do anything, and I just realized, oh, I just kind of wasted my time. Yeah, I guess it sucks to get to walk all the way over there for him. Yes, which I, which, um, I saved everyone's time by, uh, speeding it up. Now, the creepy girl up there, um... I'm assuming response to the Donner Party waltz, which means he's probably a cannibal. Well, she was responding to the first music that happens in... Oh, <laughs> Excellent. L listen to this comment. Disturbing. Yet I can't look away. Oh, I thought he How was... How do you see it? I, yeah, that's another thing. How does he see it from that distance? I maybe thought there's it... like Maybe there's like monitors in there. Mm, that perhaps. That, perhaps, actually. Anyway, so he was sit. So the old man on the tutu was sitting on something, and I, I, I originally, I originally thought he was gonna say something like, "Well, that's something you don't see every day." Oh, it's a key. Um, it's no, it's not a key. It's like a it's some like kind a really of really big key. Well, we'll see what it is soon. If I examine it, yeah, everybody. What do you think about the record that's playing now? I love it. It makes me very happy. It reminds me of my late wife, Evelyn. Oh. So he doesn't actually think that she's a. That he's a little girl. Nope. Diagnosis crazy. Interesting. Well, would he belong anywhere else? Yeah, you can actually click on that moving gargoyle, which is kind of like one of the things. Uh, one kind of like uh, makes you question, like you know, is Max like still a little a little crazy? It's the statue's cousin, you know, come to keep an eye on you. Yes, indeed. You'll, you'll Man, see really, that a few times really in the game. Got some spring in his step moving up those stairs there. All right, so I go back to go change the change the uh, record player to, for Elvis. Symbol. Another holy symbol. It's like it's like the last thing. Uh, what was the last thing? The Aztec the metal, the metal cross that uh, we stuck into the oh yeah to yeah destroy the mother. Oh yeah, that's true. I think I like this music the best. And there's Elvis dancing. Or Elvis wannabe dancing. Long live the king. Nice. As you can see, since it was a uh, waste of time, kind. I sped it up. What do you think about the record that's playing now? Well, alright. That makes me want to I'm gonna go to Vegas. Like show. Las Vegas in New Vegas. Absolutely. So I don't know why I tried to use the cross on the faucet. I was just like, hmm. 
I'm just gonna try everything. Oh. Supposed to be conducive to sanity. Yeah, I don't understand. The architect was probably an inmate. Yeah, if I... Well, I don't know, that's pretty efficient. I guess you're saving budget, you know, if you have an inmate just design the whole building. Well, that's true. Anyways, the reason course, you saw where me... where was he an inmate if there was no building? The, the reason you saw me speed that part up is because those four uh, gargoyle statues, all of them have their own individual text. All right, is the text different? No, it's all the same, but if you click them, he, he has to... The door open? He has to read the entire thing. Yeah, so he He's basically falcon kicked and kicked himself in. Mannequins. Now this guy, uh, these mannequins. guys are kind of crazy. I clicked on all the groups of mannequins too. Mannequins. Uh, yeah, and he has to actually read each feet. of them, even if it's the same dialogue. Yeah, so you can't skip them. So that's why I sped up that part. I don't know why I didn't speed up the mannequin part. I guess it didn't seems take rather long. eccentric. Nice. That's Excuse putting him mildly. What's your name? I am Saint Norman, disciple of Bob. Disciple the Church of Bob. Bob. What faith Bob. Billy true. Bob. Bob's word is true. This this sounds like something from like King of the Hills, like this guy. Most Bob of all Bobs. Of the Bob and Bobs. The preacher seems to be interested in the sin of Bob and Weaving. Did something happen? Bob and and Weaving. Bob and Weaving. Ugh. I'm reminded of Ricky One. Oh, okay. So they stole the. So the you know two two old guys stole the holy symbol and now they want it back. Yes, and we get an item for uh, getting that holy symbol back. Okay. It's Crag, isn't it? Thanks for clearing that up for me. Uh, I don't think so. The preacher seems to be pretty riled up. Is he always like this? No, but one of the evil. It's interesting that we can't hear him. From the house of Bob. Therefore, we, we can't hear who. Of all who would we can't hear the old or the preacher guy. But all I want to do is talk to the preacher. Oh, is he waving right. around some pantyhose? Uh, no, it looks like Another a chain Norman, or something. I think I found the holy symbol. What? Oh, praise be to Bob! Preacher, preacher! The symbol has been returned to the house of Bob! Is the, is pr the preacher Bob, or is the preacher preaching about Excuse Bob? Me. I think he's What's preaching about Bob. Your name? My name? Disciple Norman. Norman this Dick. This sheep seeks the truth. Seek the truth, The preacher. truth. Amen, Norman. I go by many names, my child. This makes me think of that, uh, that Helsing, uh, talk with that one guy who was trying to speak English about the Lord and Jesus. Yeah. I am the Lord. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's hope this guy's not exactly like a Catholic priest. Especially not that one. Nope. So he goes to take the... Give us a paddle. A paddle? Yep. Oh, <laughs> he calls it the staff of righteousness. That was always my dream when I was, you know, a kid. I wanted to be given the staff of righteousness by the house of Bob. You know, every every, every paddle would have, would have wanted to be called the staff of righteousness. Your mm -hmm. parishioners seem a little um, wooden. Wouldn't you say? But I'm Doesn't recognize the flock, brother Norman. Open his eyes, Father. Amen to that. My flock is special in the eyes huh. of the Lord, my son. Right now, they sit motionless in deep prayer. Spouting so a bunch of crap. That they appear to be made of wood. Well, crap to us, obviously, but... but oh, I believe him. They are as alive as you and I. I mean, he does have an audience. Okay. If I, I guess. You can, well, I yeah, mean, yeah. for them to be an audience, they have to be listening to him. Oh, they uh, certainly are. Sure, mannequins can listen. Oh, it was a broom. It, it looked like a paddle. Yeah, I thought I, I thought it was. I thought it was a broom. Now we have to sweep uh, the hooded lady off her feet. What do you I don't know. About the record that's playing now? Nope, it's actually to like it. use it to open it's something. Okay. I'll dance again some other day. Hey, look at that. The rhyming. Looks like she's also having some fun over there. Oh, Elvis. Yes, he is. No, I'm saying the the girl we just talked to. Oh, she she just kind of looks like hmm. I'm not sure. This music is kind of not not my thing. So this guy is like I I talked to him again, and it's apparent it just kind of seems like he's trying to hide something. But it, he's like faking his uh, yeah yeah. He's faking his uh. He's oh, faking you're prying the thing open. Okay. What, I don't a broom? Know, 
I don't know why it made any sense at all, this but okay. Confusing mess. So tell me what water system looks like. Hey, hey, what am I doing? Oh, I guess I just felt the need to change the music. For the no reason. For no reason. Thank you, my good man. Thanks for playing this. Well, I guess this music just sounds normal, so... Oh, did you see that? How am I What'd supposed to get that? to somewhere there? Yeah. They must control the water One of the annoy annoyances of the game is you gotta be closer there. Oh, so is what? Bioshock? It is Bioshock. It is Bioshock. Uh, Pipework Dream, or whatever it was called. Yeah, holy... So, what kind of valve system works like this? This makes no sense. No, it doesn't. It's just a way to put a puzzle. So, we gotta... F so... You have to fill the bottom, like one of the bottom parts, with uh, a full s tank of water to have it do something. On the left, you'll see a map of um, mm -hmm. where all the where all the stuff it's gonna affect, and the bottom shows which symbol apply to what. The one we want is the third from the left, but uh, I decided to mess around just to show off the other things. And this took me quite a while because I couldn't yeah. find the right combination for it. That's why I sped it up. Right, because you can you can put water to different places. Is that what's going on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This reminds me of, uh, every point-and-click adventure game reminds me of, uh, or there was this game I played that sort of, like, made fun of point-and-click adventure games where, uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, they don't suspect you after you're doing that. Nope, and then here I try to do something pretty evil, but that didn't actually do anything. I thought... Oh, you're trying to make the water hit him? I, I thought he would dance all the way to the, to the, um, sewer, to the, what, what's it called? Yeah. What's that thing that covers a sewer? Yeah, to get him to stand on it and like have him blast off. The I don't know. Yeah, the manhole. I don't know why I thought it would work, but I thought, yeah, I'll give it a try. So I busted one of the pipes. Thanks, Max. Yeah. So yeah, there, there's this uh, there's a game called Puzzle Agent, and in Puzzle Agent, there's this like FBI agent who it's... specializes in puzzles. So everything he does has to involve puzzles. For, like, no reason. I was gonna say, I think I might have known what that game is. Oh yeah, that one just opens the faucet there. Oh, you, what's, what an accomplishment. And you can squeeze spiders, too, for just some interaction. And then here's the the real solution of what we're supposed to do. For some reason? It looks I, I don't so know. Nicer when it's so why is... So what does that woman have to do with the fountain? Because uh, her friend Craig is actually in the fountain. Oh, like, he is. That's why she's all like, oh... Is that the corpse that's in there? Like, what is that? Is no, that a reflection? Yeah, the reflection. The reflection is moving. Yeah, huh. right. See right there. So I talk to her and be like, I "Oh, fixed I fixed it." Has your friend returned? Hey, her hood is still on. Oh, yes. Yeah, I wonder why. Happy, Crag has returned. Can't you see him? Isn't he glorious? We will see him soon. Yeah, sure. So here's what I meant by Feel Crag was dizzy. always here. I don't know how this transition works out, actually. My spirit has been so dry. I do not know you, sir, but I thank you. What is your greatest wish? I wish that I could see my sister again. Oh, this cutscene again. They play it a lot. Max? Sarah would like to see you now. Man, the way the ki the kids look, especially the sister, they look kind of weird. Like the modeling, it looks just like uh, him. Like are yeah, they twins? Her, Except she's got less hair. Nah, I don't know why. Feeling any better? I don't think I can go to the circus. It's weird because her her like three D model looks like it has more hair. Hey, there was a there was a subtitle so, fuck up. Could you get or, it for me? Wait, no, I, I must be. Bleh. Never mind. Oh yeah. Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> just chuck <jump> that aside. <laughs> is this a wooden crate? Where is it? Yes, it is. Why would you? <laughs> I can't find it, Sarah. I mean, usually I just push. Max's parents aren't very well to do. I see. Usually I just put it off, put off like the lid to the side. I don't chuck it. Jeez, good thing it wasn't glass. Do you did you store your toys in like a? Big wooden box. I never had a wooden box. I had a plastic bin. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Why's he got that? Must be Probably really it's splinters old. daily. 
Oh, yeah, definitely. So now we're at the Circus of Fools. Oh, uh, the angry What's clown. Happening to me? <gasps> Fully transformed into her <gasps> sister. I can oh, he's a sister. Everything through these. I don't know why. Shouldn't he be going like, ah, what's wrong with me? Ow, why am I little? Why, why, why is my body like, completely different? Why do I look like my sister? I don't know, I guess like his mind's also like temporarily yeah. like not Max anymore. You know, if I ever saw dead corpses Maybe. like that, yeah. I wouldn't just say yuck. I mean, he's got a big red nose like Oh my Santa. god. Yeah, that's what I would say. Man, for, hey, a, child, for a child, she's taking it pretty well. well yeah. Because she's used to death. <laughs> How did you get here, little girl? How do you get hair? Or it doesn't phase her. Does she not look like a little boy in that picture in the dress? Well, she has. She doesn't have hair. Presumably, she has like some disease. Makes her lose her hair. Mm, potentially, but if you look at her like her three D model, it looks like she should have more hair. Yeah, that's true. It's, it looks like she's got like a pretty defined head of you know of red orange hair. hair. The tide swept you up and plopped you down here. I find the clapper mouth placements I do in like this world a lot more effective. I'm sure your family is looking for you as we speak. Yeah, the, no doubt the family would be What's yours? would be here what? enjoying the uh, festivities and getting stranded on this island. Excellent. Yeah, I'm sure they won't get worried, you know, seeing the like exploded corpses. Because directly behind me is the most fantastic... Not even just drowned corpses, like, they they've had chunks taken out of them. Yeah, yeah, they've been eaten. Never heard of the world-famous Baldini Brothers Amazing Traveling Circus? Oh, there's that thing where, you know, they go like, What, haven't you heard of me? And then it's like, no, I haven't, because you're not actually famous. I, I don't I don't know if it's like, uh, they've been here before, or this is their first time the, with the circus. Tell you what, my dear... Since times are tough and the crowd is, um, because uh, she mentioned just earlier in a cutscene like her dad went to the circus and won her a yeah. toy, right? I'm imagining it wasn't this circus. Yeah, that's that's just what I'm thinking. Oh, thank you, Mr. Baldini. So we get a free ticket. And now, if you'll excuse me, little lady, I have a circus to run. By sleeping. No, he does. So oh, he enters in an area that doesn't actually have an entrance. The show must. I don't know what circus would do this. Like they'd have his to be voice, pretty desperate. His voice just changed, like mid sentence there. Yeah, because uh, that was his show voice. I can't see the bottom. I'm guessing you were trying to click on the balloon there. Yes, but there's nothing because if your magnifying glass doesn't uh, swing around, it it means like uh, it's not interactable. Yeah, I now, remember that. Now you remember when that guy was blocking us earlier? This guy blocks me for this He's entire chapter. Around. Huh. So I had to take Hi, the buddy. So I had to take the long way every single time. I can't go that. She, you're trying no. to talk to him. I know, and she just won't do no. it. Look, look at his animation. I, 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 well, I can't go. I can't go. I don't. He's just like blowing his own head up and having his animation exploded. keeps resetting every time I was like uh, clicking on him. If you notice, like I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I. He can juggle with only. This is a pretty small. This is a pretty small circus tent. How do you? Uh, where do you sit to watch anything? Well, normally you don't like have all of it going on at once. Yeah, or at least if it's going to be, it'd be in the center, not on the sides. I'm guessing part of a puzzle is to give him something he's not going to, uh... He's not going to be able to juggle. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Well, there are benches in the back, so... Well, there's a technically a place to You know, you're to supposed sit. to lift them a little higher than that there, buddy. Look at that! Gino. There he goes. He, he does. He does do a few lifts. I guess like the other ones might be warm ups. Wow! You know, all of the people at the circus can't be the strongest man alive. I gotta say. Yeah, because then who's the strongest one of them all? Yeah, I guess they have a tournament. <laughs> well, the strongest one would probably be Saitama. This guy's also bald too. Yeah, he doesn't look strong though. I never saw a circus on an island before. Yeah, that is kind of a bad idea. Oh, what's a bad idea? A circus on an island? Yes. Yes, it is. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened. Like, other than the. F like, they do set talk about the fact that there's a flood that happened. And that was kind of it. Yeah. I guess there was a flood. And there's just like. 
No Devast one around here to clean anything up? No Devastation, no no army to come in for relief. Uh, no Salvation not. Army. I don't know how she smells him all the way over there and just decides, like, hey, he stinks. Hello, yeah, I don't know. How do you smell him over all this stuff? I bet that, that strong man's pretty sweaty. <laughs> exactly. I guess so. But it's kind of I don't know what would have happened if I said no. But is there no fun in front? No beauty and terror? Look more closely, my dear, and see the sublime wonder of every attraction. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, that's all, that, that's all you ever you ever say to Is the it Wonder Woman? Baldini. Do you really breathe? Mm, that's an interesting way to look at Bal Why is she uh, going, uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, uh, what's she doing? She's breathing. Well, you'll see. I do breathe. Fire. Can you see her nipples through that? Not name, quite. It looks like she just has bizarre. paint. It just looks like she's wearing paint and not a suit. What's yours? Like in that well, cutscene? Yeah. I mean, I, just, me I don't mean to be make needless sex but jokes, no. but that seriously just looked like it. What, the, uh, the, the costume? Well, the fact that it looked like her, you know, her dress was see-through in the cutscene. Oh, really? Because it, it's, it just looks like she just painted gold paint over her chest, and then that was it. That was the costume. Yeah. Ah, oh, she's a husband. Yeah, so we look into the back, to, like, the story behind some of these characters to help us in a later... Help us in a quest. I didn't go because I that was a squid. Yes, as we both uh, recall, it kind of has. We'll enter into a combat uh, scenario, kind of like in the pumpkin patch with the squid. Thankfully, it's not that difficult. Is that guy on the right throwing fish at the guy in the middle? Oh, wait, where? Oh, uh, one guy's throwing pie and the other guy's just hitting himself. The, you're talking about the clowns, right? Yeah, I thought, that, I thought it was a fish. Well, it would be a. Uh, I don't know. It could have been slapstick with the fish. Well, yeah, so we need her to teach us how to do fire breathing, so we can we protect ourselves against a squid. I'm running low on my own. Stuff. Hmm. So now we need to go look for some alcohol. Oh yeah. And here I try to go to pretty strong alcohol to do that. And here I try to go to the right, but oh, guess what? This guy's blocking you again. My name's Sarah. Oh, hey, you can talk to him. Yeah, well, finally. I thought his head was the balloon, yeah. like he didn't have a head. But apparently, based on the profile, uh, profile, it's not. Do you like it here at the circus? Yeah, this is a real. This guy is obviously an asshole. Maybe when I get done talking to your dumbass, I'll have a martini. By I'm starting to think. I'm starting to see why this uh, this circus isn't very lucrative. Tell my mommy. Because of the uh, people in it. Yeah, they suck. <laughs> well, they have been silly, they have been okay. apparently been a str been uh, <laughs> stranded here for a Thank long while. And some of them are just like getting, getting kind of like uh, they're losing. Like he's it. just seriously he's seriously talking sadly to like a ten year old girl. Yes, he is. <laughs> what? This is all uh. All the, uh it reminds me in the. Uh, oh, look. It reminds me of Heavy Rain, where you have to. Where you're, you're a f you're, your character's a father, and you have to you have to quote unquote win in like a sword fight with your in like a fake sword fight with your kids. Like what the hell? It's just like you don't have to take it that seriously. I you're know what you're talking to about. Let, you're supposed to just let them win. Like we know you could beat up a little a few kids. You're a grown ass man. But you don't have to take it so seriously. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why you could click on the vodka. It's just it's just like she's just like mm, vodka. Mm-hmm. Here, I really, really wished I had a run button because it was just like this is. Yeah, it's it's, it's quite slow. Ding, 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 ding. I go up here and I was like, "Hey, where does this lead? It leads is that to this fire truck." <laughs> no, no, it's a cart that somehow gets stuck up there, and it must have been stuck up there for a while because they had to build a little bridge to get there. Yeah. The tattoo. Yeah, I have to wonder if these were like there before or they just. Built these pathways in the most stupid way possible. This is very Fallout, like very like uh, the Fallout universe with the way they made their paths. Right, it all looks um very you know hastily thrown together, sort of like the paths in um, Half Life too, you know. Like in that one town? No, I mean like um no, not not Ravenholm, but like you know the Resistance. Everything they look is like look like, like you know cobbled together at the last minute. Yeah, like a uh, makeshift. 
Oh, yeah. Poo. So we're like running away from the combine early on. My name's Sarah. Yeah. So this Where's guy, yours? we got we get the alcohol How from him. You just precious. Bad, Actually, this guy looks more like Armag Twenty One. No, I got a wet nurse oh. <laughs> so many angry bald men. So what? When you come into Wilbur you play by my rules, kid. So later, you just think you're special because you have hair, kid. Or you both look kind of similar with the hair. You're pressing me because I'm bald. Uh, apparently, fat too, based on the 3D model. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't understand. Like, it doesn't seem to imply that he's bald, or he, he's he's that fat. Yeah, because it looks like he has a pretty good physique. Oh god, it kind of sounds, does sound like, uh, Armek if he did that voice. What the fuck? Yeah, here's the thing about the flood. So there's a flood, and that's why it's certain places are trapped like that in the makeshift, uh, pathways. Yeah. Fuel. May I have a bottle of rubbing alcohol? It's rubbing alcohol. Is going to teach like, how to breathe is, is that actually enough to breathe fire? I wouldn't think so, but... Because no, then it would be kind of hazardous. Oh, well, hell, why not? It must be like a pretty strong type of alcohol. Rubbing I mean, alcohol. I, I guess? Like, I just don't, don't know much about it. I know you can do the like, fire breathing thing, but I don't know, that would be as easy as, as that. Okay, so we got our stuff. Okay. We're, gonna, we're gonna have to come back later later to grab that needle for um for something. But yeah, these puzzles are pretty sensible. Like for the most part. Like they're not that they're not that need ridiculous. Like we need to learn to breathe fire. Let's get some fuel. Like she says specifically what she wants. And the and point of it. and the point of the searching for the items is to make you explore around and be like, oh, there's this place, there's that place. Gotta make sure to keep uh, keep in mind keep in mind for some of the uh, locations. Yeah, and you get all the um, all the flavor text and stuff. Wow, yes, it's important to actually like see the entire map because otherwise you'll get very confused. So here I try to like play the games even though you're not able to, and they just tell you to fuck off. Not that you have any business. This <laughs> ain't a charity booth. <laughs> yeah, is thanks. That, is that a what? I'll take a shot. One ticket, little pig seat. shoot. Uh, yes, I something like that. Uh, hit the road, cheapskate. Oh my God, man! Don't these guys realize there's like no wow, business? They yeah, they're odd. <laughs> I can see like, why they're not such good employees. You know, the the nice one would be like, hey. I'll give you a free like, throw or hey. something. Or be like, hey, little girl, why don't you get your parents to come over here and play with you? And then you'll, you know, go get, have money. Yeah. So we got we have to play this game to earn some tickets because the tickets are vital. I, lo I like how they, they make the squid squash game just because they don't like the squid. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, that's true. I, I didn't notice that. Well, it seems like that was the motivation behind it because it seems like, you know, it was just made in the last... You know, the last minute. There really is a customer. Cause it was like, uh, cause like now that I think about it, this is kind of like a way to get back at the squid that's been uh, capturing the people that were around the circus area and uh, eating them. Not spoilers, cause they they talked about it earlier. Oh hey, call me Ishmael. Oh it's quite. Oh ho. Girl, it's a test of might. After you give me your tickets to play, I'll give you the anchor. You heave it up, and then squash the squid head here. By the way, it's completely random if you win at this uh, mini game or not. The really? Goes, the more yes. You sometimes she'll win, sometimes she won't. You need them to go on the rides, of course. Huh. <laughs> There's only like three what or two rides here. They're, they're, the what rides? You know, what? It's not a ride if you like throw balls and stuff. No, no, there are rides or attractions. I so guess. So this guy's reading uh, Moby uh, Dick. Yeah. Poor whale. No, no, no. You're missing the point. They're missing the evil. Every time someone tells you the whale and Moby Dick is one thing, you need to you need to be like it probably. May I play, please? Sure. If you have three. Because I've heard like a million things, like like oh the Mo Moby Dick, the whale is really this. It's really uh, that. I never really, read it myself. It's really um the illustrative of sperm, and that's the allegory. And it's like okay, what? Now that's what that's one theory. 
basically, it's not important what the whale symbolizes, but let's, let's not get into the literary review with yes, yes, uh, English student hitman here. May I? Sure. So here I try to get more. So here I try to get more tickets, and uh, it fucks up. Oh, oh boo! And now I have no tickets, so I'm like, oh fuck! What do I do now? Give them the rubbing alcohol. No, you actually find tickets around the place, like right there. Yeah, I see one. This and that's the one of the, the rides. Round, but it's all rusted up. It looks fun. Oh, there's a the animals scare me. I don't know where the power vodka. comes from. Mmm, vodka? Why would she know? I thought vodka didn't have any taste really though. Well, you gotta remember that she's not really Sarah, she's actually Max, so maybe she knows a few things. Yeah, this is, this is like somewhat Max and somewhat Sarah. It's, it's really weird. Yes. So this clown is pretty creepy. It looks like uh, that one character from uh, one of the Final Fantasy games. I forget his name. Kafka. Yeah. He reminds you of him, nice. like like the 3D model or or his profile. So apparently he's doing the. Um, so he. Are you sure uh, what's he called? Uh, palm reading? Oh, yeah. no. this is just the the fortune teller. I think I grabbed the wrong deck of cards this morning. Huh. <laughs> I don't think he did anything useful other than just like add some character around uh, this he looks this like uh, circus. He potato head. Put together wrong. I can't go. Uh, yeah. So the, we need the tickets to get into here, but obviously I have no tickets. Stuart Limkin, my good child. This guy looks like um that wizard from Conan the Barbarian, Mako. Oh jeez. Wait, what awakens? Oh, his name is Limpkin. Oh. Stuart Limkin. What yeah. could that possibly mean? I don't know. I just know he kind of he looks like Mako from uh, Conan the Barbarian. Doesn't sound like him. No, no, no. They should have got they should have got Mako for this role. Like, Would have really his, filled out this game. Like I meant his like profile picture looks like his character from uh, that movie. Oh, my lord was destined. You and a girl are destined to wear the crown of Aquilonia upon a troubled brow. I have not seen Conan the Barbarian. Oh, you haven't seen it? Oh, that's that's the that's the intro which Mako is is, is saying. Ah, talking about the squid. Wasn't there also another thing? Wasn't there another character called Squid in uh, Watchmen? There wasn't. There was no character called Squid, but there was a squid or a squid-like thing. Oh, okay. Who am I to judge this? Yeah, so clearly this uh, this Iggy Squid is uh, causing trouble around the circus, eating people and just destroying things. And for some reason, I don't pick up the ticket. <laughs> or do I not realize it yet? So I try to see if I can get a free play, but uh, sure. it's apparent that you need tickets at this point. Oh. Tisk tisk. Tisk tisk. My Tyson. Why is it? He's just reading Moby Dick. Yeah, you know, this guy is uh, negligent, but not in quite the same way as all the other employees are terrible. Those look like game tickets. Yep. So tickets are somehow now randomly skewered about. Can you? Like... Can can you lose them, or will you just gain more? You will just, just keep like gaining repair? more. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with this kid. Like the way he's uh, his 3D what's model. It's like some kind of slug. Wow. Yeah, like he's some kind of fat kid. kid. Well, even if you are just a girl, my name's Sean. Are we the only kids here? Yeah. Thought she's gonna take exception to the just a girl. Well, that's what happens when you're when you've been driven uh, lonely from isolation from the outside world. Yeah, you'll accept anyone. Why don't you go to the Wait, who the hell are those guys over there? Uh, their parents or his uh, parents, I believe. Huh. They brought the flood down on us with their sin and ways. Ooh. That's silly. How could they have? More religious overtones here. Yes. Do you always open She's going to talk to you about the about how the gays cause hurricanes next. Yeah, yeah, probably. So I don't know why well, I guess they don't have choice to of where they can live now that they're stuck here. 
Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they want to put their hands above, you know, that flaming barrel so much, but... It's not that cold, but I assume it's because it's cold. Maybe they're shaking hands with it. <laughs> so we have to talk to this kid to get some... Get some info so we can uh, use it. I guess they all died in the flood. Ah, oh, the squid ate him. No, squid ate him. Is this section of the island? Yeah, so I clicked it again because I think I uh, missed something. I just wanted to take a look at something. So what do they? I guess they drink vodka, but what do they eat? That's what I wanted to know. Like, where's the meat coming from? Or, or you know, the food. Maybe the squid spits it out and they just eat it. Ugh, that'd be pretty terrible. Or eating the meat that floats around. Ugh, that'd be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you couldn't actually eat that. You'd just die. You'd probably die early. You get sick from it. Oh, I guess it must be cold around here. Maybe there's a draft. What's yours? My name is Colin O'Leary, and my wife here is Martha. What can't give a ca town? Can't give him a character, give him an accent. The old Prospect Dam just beyond Grandview Point finally burst after years of neglect. Ah, now see, the flood was ha was caused by a dam that uh, blew up. We knew that it needed more random things that just weren't repaired. You know, they they really need to rebuild their infrastructure in these worlds. No, you know what they have to fix? What? The leaky pipe. Yeah, of course. That's that's top priority. What happened to the rest Hey, maybe maybe the broken flood is a meta is the mm, the metaphor for that leaky pipe. Came up here to find uh, maybe. Where are they? Yeah, you got a point. I don't see anyone but your family. Well, that remains. Also, the fact that you you know spilled water in a bunch of places to get here. Yes, indeed. And bursting that one maybe pipe. Maybe Crag is the squid. Since it's been in the open water, it's grown to almost triple the um, size. He's like, I wanted you to bring water to me and stuff. I don't know. Like, you think maybe in that previous chapter when Max was turning on all the water, it's actually uh, related to what's happened here? Yeah, and he went, um... He didn't go insane, but, you know, he, had, he started his hallucination looking down, you know, into the fountain he just filled. You think he fell into the fountain? Maybe. I don't know, you saw his reflection in there, or saw something reflected in there that was disturbed him. Hey, it's that lady from, uh, from, uh, the, the asylum. Oh, yeah. Just hooded lady. I didn't realize it, actually, until I re-watched this. The wonders of rewatching your stuff. I've actually seen this exact woman. Like, uh, in real life? Yeah, ho homeless Irish lady talking about, you know, all the sins going on. Ugh. Those, she doesn't look kind of like a bag lady. The way is a it could be worse. I mean, they could be asking you for a cigarette light. Why can't she? Why can't you say Beelzebub, lady? Beelzebub. I mean, you claim to know his ways, but you can't even pronounce them. No, I'm pretty sure she pronounces a few other things wrong. Or I don't know if it's because of the accent attempt. Oh, I mean, Beelzebub. Beelzebub. I don't understand why it would be Beelzebub in any pronunciation. <laughs> that line there, it, she sounds kind of black. Stay away from my child, you. Yeah. No offense. I'll peel you like a potato, of course. <laughs> Fucking Irish. I was talking about their potatoes. Uh oh. Don't say the husband. You mean this doppelganger? Bah. He's not my husband. I didn't get this part. Standing here with him. Don't smart off with me, you poisonous serpent. You know as well as I that if I were to turn my back on him, he'd eat my brain like a grapefruit. Wow, yeah, your you brain's can back that small. away from him. Ever think of that, lady? So here, I'm, I'm gonna run back. Yeah, thank you for that. Jesus. Because I'm sure we would all love to see me like w slowly walk back to the circus. Everywhere. And if it wasn't for that fucking clown in the in that area, I wouldn't have I had to do this. Why don't you just tell her? If you love her. Ah, oh, the child like a thought know. process of why don't you just do what, what you should I, do. Hey, uh, no. Oh, uh, oh crap. Uh, uh, how did you figure it out? I mean, I'm afraid to tell her. I'm afraid to tell her. Christopher like Walken. Yeah, they, yeah. Hey, so basically he she she Sarah's calling him a big chicken. How I feel. But why? Or, you know, questioning his, uh, courage. Seriously. She thinks I'm just a big dummy. 
I don't know how to really prove my love. I just how don't know how to really prove my love. Christopher Walken, if he was buffed idea. up, if that don't prove how serious I am, your father wore this love poem up his ass. What the fuck? Oh yeah, and then he just and then I burned, burst into <laughs> flames, and disappeared like both. So I was just like, what the? Because I, I didn't remember that part. Is on fucking believable. I got a bottle of rubbing alcohol. All right, so now we okay. learn some fire breathing. Sure. What else? First off, I'll give you one of my old fire batons. Thank you for not making a search Second, for one. Can light it here in my fire barrel. That should be it. That barrel Are doesn't really look like it's on fire. I guess it must be pretty small. You... My fire barrel. Okay. Then you can don my fire outfit. Okay, now you... As a fire breather. And gain fi 15, per 15 plus more you fire damage. Natural. You think Unfortunately, she Unfortunately, he's kind of disappeared now. Yeah, but we'll soon uh, find him again. I can't tell you how I found out, but I know that Gino. Anyways, you think they have to keep throwing fuel into the fire barrel like in the long dark? I bet. Mm, they must have to be like chopping wood every couple of a uh, couple of a uh, half hours. He was dating half the girls in the high wire act. Interesting. At the same time, uh, maybe. How many on? girls are in this so, circus show? Not many anymore. I mean, apparently they got eaten by the squid or something. That's that. true. Maybe it would be a start. I just the explanation for everything that happened in this me. this area. It's just the squid did it. Lonely, it's the squid. It's the squid. It's Watchmen. Well, I guess. Yeah, I. S yeah, this flood actually prevented a world war. From Doctor Manhattan. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyways, I could've sworn you could see, like, a... Like, a clown act off of the thingy, and... And here I try to go across, or try to see if he'll... He doesn't move from that what spot asshole. ever again. <laughs> he doesn't move from that spot ever you again. You actually have to walk all the way around because he's standing there. Yeah. That's not actually supposed to happen, just a note. But somehow I triggered wow. it to happen. Hey, what the hell? Hello. What is it? Oh, he's... Oh, he's tattooing. Yes, and for some reason he feels the need to look You're to the side. A real tattoo? Cool. What is it? It's a big heart with Inferno's name on it. I thought we suggested that. So how do we not know? You must really love her. Gee, what what could, what could he be doing? Could he be doing what I suspected he might do? From what I recommended? Because I'm pretty sure we recommended the tattoo thing, right? No Looks like my electric shaver. Yes, it does. It's just a of time. Most of Apparently, it doesn't like start and stop. Website. It just keeps going and going and going. Where's the electricity coming from? Uh. Well, I guess the hydroelectric dam is is done. It's so the squid. The squid is doing it. Squid power? They have a tidal it. generator, and the squid moving around powers it. So we took the needle to get to the next part. One ticket. I have enough. Give it your I just job. happened to have the one Why ticket I I needed to like actually get an item from this, but I think she screws it up for uh, this first one. Uh -huh. Oh poo! Yes, she does. So I have to look for another ticket. So wait, if do you need more tickets? Yes, to like uh, cause some. Of so you have to actually win a game to be able to get to the freak show area. Yes. And it's uh, there's nothing to. Hmm. Sometimes you prefer a Sierra random arcade sequence to this. Keep your eyes on the pigs. It's it's, it's just like I'm pretty damn sure it's mostly just random, like the squid. Like sometimes you win, sometimes you don't win. But it's like it's not to the point where it will screw you over. Yeah, because you you well you can't just be like you know unable to win. But jeez. Also, I swear there was something you had to do with the tickets, too. Like, you had to get 15 for uh, something, but apparently uh, that was not the case. So, you might, so you'll see me keep uh, getting tickets. Ticket I hope to God you don't have to get 15 tickets. tickets. Nope. Right, Awful. Nope. But, uh, I, but uh, my memory did not serve me well, so I uh, actually Whee! did that. Those games are kind of tricky to play, like in real life. Yeah. Yeah, they have, like... I have a feeling what they do is they put um, a pin on the top that is, you know, like, 
slightly top heavy and they put the ones on the bottom are very bottom heavy so that they don't move yep I know there's some way to make it so people don't want it I just yeah because it's obviously because it's supposed to scam you in some ways right they're supposed to... well I don't know because even if you do win you don't like gain money yeah you just gain some small prize it's something yeah they're probably really cheap to make so yeah, this guy, you actually have to give him tickets. You can't talk to him and be like, hey, I got tickets, unlike with the other people. So it was kind of weird. So I was just visiting in here, and I didn't realize, uh, you know, being in here was actually of importance, because I forgot this part of the game. Well, kind of like what Hitman said, the uh, first part of the game, or Chapter 2, is uh, the most memorable. Yeah, true. Th this place uh, wasn't bad, it was just... Not as memorable. Yeah. My name's so it didn't have the ambiance. So here's a Delsim. The master of oh my, his, his name is Pretzel. <laughs> my head hurts. No, no, not electricity. Elasticity. That line's funny. What no, not electricity. Elasticity. But yes, his I name's Pretzel. Stretch myself in nice. Many different shapes. Well, basically, douse him. Is, is he supposed to be Indian? Like, I assume so. I don't know why he's trapped. Why is he? Why is? How? Well, I guess he is kind of freaky, being able to bend all over. But still, I, I could do a better Indian accent than this guy. Vodka. Ooh, vodka. I can't tell if he's a man or a big dog. And then here's a man wolf. A wolf. Yeah, they have werewolves, by the way. The 3D model, I would not think dog. It looks like a velociraptor. What's yours? It definitely looked like a... Oh, I can see the velociraptor that you're talking about, but it definitely looked like a wolf to me. Look at my voice. I'm Dr. Claw. Oh, you're the, you're the guy from Harvester. Oh, God. <laughs> Harvester. Oh, you've seen Harvester? Mm, oh, wait, which one? The, uh, the point and click or the... the point and click. Oh, okay. Yeah, you showed me. Oh, my God, it's so fucking ridiculous. Oh god, are we ever gonna are we gonna do a video on that in the future? Enough people have done that one. I suppose, but I, I've never seen the whole thing in its entirety though. You can watch a long play, they've, they've got plenty of those around. Some people are more thorough than others. Mm, yes. I recently just saw like a TSA of uh, Castlevania Air of Sorrow and it was uh, pretty crazy and funny. Driving me mad. I'm starving. So he didn't feed this guy for like the longest time. Will you lead me to the bones? You don't get anything from <laughs> you don't get anything from eating bones. The bones. No, actually, um, I don't know. Eating the the like bone itself, the osseous tissue doesn't actually give you anything, but uh, the if you the marrow does, marrow has nutritional value. Yeah, you can like, break them open and drink the marrow. I'm yeah, this that always kind of creeps me out a, just a little bit. Out. So we got So we, we we free this guy out because we find out he, there's no key. He lost. Damn, Stuart lost it. This is Saber Wolf's is like a skinny cousin. Yeah, this is this is clearly like a re a guy doing a really bad voice. Okay, so we unlock it with the lockpick. I didn't know Sarah knew how to do that, or Max. Yeah, I thought, I thought you were just, just going to give it to him to pick. That's it. Oh. Yeah. Well, he wouldn't be able to pick from his side that well, would he, with those hands? Thank you. I guess. Wait, check this out. When he opens the door. Ow! Just... <laughs> Ow! <laughs> like, what the hell is that? I could have sworn she was lower than him, so why did the that was get a, in the way? That was an animation. <laughs> Someone broke out of this <laughs> Does that do anything? Or when the thing hits you? No. No, like unlocking the door for him. Yes, it does. Anyways, so that cart that fell down there is uh, where the squid was. And yeah. there's actually someone in that wagon, but you can't see it from the inside of the thing for some reason. You actually have to be outside of the attraction to see the attraction inside. That's a little strange. Ooh. Can you tell me I don't know why I keep wasting time with this guy, because I thought he might have some significance, but he's just flavoring. Hey, what do you know? Hey, hey foreshadowing. Of our things. No. Foreshadowing. That sounds scary. Ah. It's either that or a native club. I'm not really sure. 
Oh, I don't stick around. Oh, wait, no, I do stick around. Like, I don't Ew, get this. They're connected. Why couldn't I see them from the my other side? Sarah. Yeah, I just, that's weird. My name's Matt, and my sister's name is Ashley. You're connected. A weird that's Siamese twin. Twins are, you know, Sarah. you know you're connected, but How does that do you have to be naked? That well, then again, they'd, I'd, who's going to make a shirt for both of them? Violent creature. We're sure his upbringing I but, guess. They can wear a blanket. Yeah, I guess uh, like a cloth wrapping or something. Yeah, but then they'd be like, you're just hiding it. Oh, what else are they going to do? They, they would look like a freak to people. I guess. So do they have to walk like crabs, or do they like uh, piggyback you off each other? Oh, hey, they were talking about the previous chapter. What's the preacher and the farmer? With severely deformed limbs. No, I'm talking about the squid, I think. Yeah, yeah, the, the squid is a child from uh, that one village that we were in, or from that one town we were in. Wait, who? Which, which child? I... They didn't, they didn't say specifically which one, but they mentioned the preacher and the... and the farmer. Huh. Why didn't he just give the child... Possibly, I guess. He said he needed the money. To fix his church. Apparently, a storm knocked something off of it. But yeah, the, the holy symbol. Just an huh. So he could get rid of. I assume that's what they were. What? What? Like this whole conversation was referring to. Yeah, so, it's. I guess they are somehow connected. Now, for some reason, you just can't go around this uh, merry-go-round. So. I was, oh, so do I was you have to like start the merry-go-round? Yes, you do. So here I'm winning some tickets with the whole, like, oh, I think I needed 15 tickets, but after that, uh, exhibition with the freaks and stuff, you really don't really need tickets. Um. Not really. So here I, luckily, I, I, I lucked out and actually, uh, did something that I was supposed to do, or that you were supposed to do if you played this game. You're actually supposed to beat this game because you get an item for it. Huh. Now, and apparently, apparently, just from that, we ruined his entire stall. Holy crap! What an on! You busted up my pins. He won't let us play it again. Is your memory as short as you are? You broke my game, remember? Oh, sh pins. what about those other two? Yeah, They're there's broken. two other sets of... A bowling pin. Yeah, so... Oh, you a pin. So we needed this. To like, hit him over the head with, because he's an idiot. That's a, that's a thought, or bull his head over. But no, if you remember that clown that was talking about how he needed a challenge to throw Oh, things, you want him to juggle the bowling pin. Yeah, so you'll see what the significance of this will do. Hey, finally a challenge. Thanks, little girl. This guy only has a left arm, by the way. Yeah, I know, he's a one-handed juggler. That'd be impressive. You're yes, welcome. it is, because you have to be pretty fast to do that. I've seen people juggle before, but I don't know. Not, not one-handed. I, I tried to learn to juggle, but it's just... Mm, I'm not very coordinated. My name's yeah, me neither. I doubt I would be good at that. Yeah, these guys is there's no there's nothing interesting oh, yeah. except for a few little bits of backstory oh, of like the the circus and the what's fish. happened. Why don't you use something else? Oh, what else is there? I used to get stuff from the crowd, but there is no stinking crowd. This circus. Yeah, I was talking earlier about how like I thought I swear you could watch a little like a like a show it's here with the clowns if uh Maybe I'll try it. Like, if you talked hurt. with them. I don't know if I mixed it up with something else, but I swore you could I watch a show go. here. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what you do with the bread rubber ball. You'll see later on. It, it becomes quite obvious. Like, it like when you see the the no, the problem you're presented with. The oh, the sad clown. Yes, because he's got the little tear and he's being so bullied by oh, his sister. I don't know. She was always kind of mean, but when her dog died, man, that pushed her over the edge. Man, bitches and I'm their bitches. I'm gonna sit here and be sad about it. Man, Funny, bitches and their Sarah. bitches. What's yours? What's it to ya, you little dog? Well, how do you know it was a you female dog? You so mean. I was just asking. I'm a Aha, I gotcha. Hmm. My name is well, Tracy. no, because you also... I don't remember it. Wait, isn't, isn't that like just how they were called back then? Are you for real? I know, I'm just saying. How do, you, how do you know the dog was female? I don't, but it's just uh, just the broad term of it. I didn't know that was a broad term for dog. I thought it was a male dog or something else. I don't remember asking you about what you thought, you shrimp. Boy, you aren't a very Is she like... Clown. Yeah, she's just a meanie too. Is she a New Yorker? I mean... I don't remember telling you what you thought, you shrimp. Yeah, I guess so. 
waiting to get eaten by some but giant we're, freak. But since they're a traveling circus, they were, were probably not in New York. What freak? Yeah, that's where she's originally from. Well, uh, remember that there, the remember there was a dam they were talking about earlier. Do you think it's Hoover Dam? This is Fallout New Vegas. Oh my god. And in some like some off-site map, it's like uh, you can actually see Sarah in this all in the like the circus. I get the Kang. That would explain the Elvis guy. Like, they have me locked up in this insane asylum, but I got out, and I live for two hundred years because I'm the king of rock and roll. So I try to see if the clown actually <laughs> he moved. He still has a. <laughs> He's still in my way, so I have to go all the way around here. That is so bad. Normally, it Hang your head in shame, developers of Sanitarium. That normally never happens, just to note. It just so happens I did something to this game for some reason it causes that to happen. Why is- why are you doing the squid game again? Because I thought you needed the tickets. And technically I do, but not 15 of them. Huh. Oh, and see? The- the- the wolf came over here and dug a hole. An oil can. I can't- That's interesting. And then an oil can that I didn't notice earlier, so picked it up. Or maybe it wasn't there, but I'm pretty sure it was. You need oil to... Remember what we saw earlier? Oh, he's a little cutscene? Oh, he's already climbing down. His, his name's Timber. How's he gonna get out? He doesn't need to get out, he's got all the bones he wants. I suppose that's true. But then there's the whole tentacle thing, and then, well, he gets eaten. Yeah. On your way home, beware the pit of darkness. And here we get a little bit of guidance from uh, an unknown force. Sounds like it's the weird Irish lady telling us this. Kind of, but not really. So there's a mirror somewhere. We, there's a mirror piece we need to get. Ah. Uh, you know, I mean, actually, the, I'm guessing the wand is just the torch. Yes. And the flask is the alcohol. Yeah. All oh, right. I remember what the mirror is for, but I I, I won't spoil it. So we, we we needed the oil can to get this to move. Oh yeah, yeah. lubricated. Um, it doesn't look like it's attached to the merry-go-round. So. And well, for it's a good thing that you remembered that, because I would have forgot. No way. I guess I'd be paying more attention. I was now, for some reason, game. I thought I had to throw something at the top of uh, the merry-go-round. For some reason, the merry-go-round doesn't turn until you actually get on the merry-go-round. It's a pressure-sensitive merry-go-round? Let's... Look at the... Uh, you, you see how the other half is like... Yeah, just uh, like... Eh. <laughs> you see how the other half has, has nothing? So what was blocking me if I was trying to go around? Nothing. Well, I guess there's like a water pit on the other side that I can't cross, I suppose. Well... You notice the animation there, too? It was yeah, like... yeah, it got, it got chopped off halfway. Yeah, I... What was that? Ew, very stiff. Where are all these balloons coming from? I don't know. They're, I guess they're just the same ones that just keep floating up. Wow, that's some uh, long-lasting hydrogen. Or wait, no, helium. helium. My bad. Okay. Right. They're not zeppelins. Oh, is this a fun house? Yes, it is. Very significant. And look, this clown has no nose. Spanky will say if you goes in or not. And he's so sad because he lost his nose. You give you give the clown the red ball, and he's so overjoyed with it that he lets you in. Yes. So yeah, really? you do need tickets for one last thing. This one house. And I may say that I have never seen so little as Sarah in my life. You're small, kid. I don't even know why you need like a height requirement for this fun house, because uh, you'll see what happens in this fun house. So uh, yeah, why would there soon. be a height requirement for a fun house? I don't know, but it makes for but I guess it's for a puzzle segment. That's why. Why? He's looking for the little bastard that stole his nose from the sign over there. Some little brat who looks just like you stole it in the last town we were in. I like how there's been this massive flood and you know this this squid eating a bunch of people and he's on an island that no one can get to, but he's still like, man, that kid, I'm gonna get him. You know what? I think I know who the kid is. You remember that kid in the in chapter two where he's like, well, hey, Mister, I got a ball. Ah, I think that might be it. Making connections all over the place. Yes, this is actually quite interesting. 
Okay, Shrimpo, step up to the sign. So we give him give him a ball that actually fits quite well. It doesn't look it didn't look that big before. No, it didn't. Does she have like a ponytail? Yes, she does. I guess you, that's where the hair is coming from. Which you don't see, which you don't see in her profile picture, but you do see on her 3D model. How many tick Five tickets, kiddo. I don't know how you did it, but this guy literally didn't quick. see the clown move his hand. I mean, <laughs> that's kind of some supernatural shit. You grew up real. Qu yeah, I'd be, I'd be more scared if the girl like grew several inches just Thanks, looking at me. The house of then again. Then again, she's not who we think she is, because she was Max. I don't... Look at that part that sticks out of the house. Wouldn't someone... Wouldn't that hit somebody if, like, they walked and they weren't expecting it? Mm-hmm. Of course, it doesn't... It doesn't move when we get close. So, another cutscene. We don't get to see the inside of this, except in this cutscene. So, she has the same handshake opening animation. Yes. Related to Max? Yes. So what exactly required her to be like really tall to be in this funhouse? Mirrors, lights, swirling tunnel. I never uh, understood that. You won't that. get the full effect of the mirror unless you're a certain height. I guess so. Who am I? Who am I? What am I fighting for? So we're re so we're remembering ourselves, and well, I don't know why the mirror exploded. Oh. Oh, it, just explo it, it just exploded for no reason. Anyways, that f this fun house must be pretty shit because it's it's not that bit it's not that long. A broken piece of yeah, mirror. I hope I don't get bad luck. Hey, here's two mirrors. Have fun. It's not like sh it's not like she broke it. The mirror just exploded. Uh, Man, some people would have sued the, the water. sued the it's circus so for that. I can't see the bottom. I was trying to talk water. to this guy, but. But it was like she was looking at the water? My name's Sarah. What's yours? Mm -hmm. I think this is the funniest Sarah. use of the clapper mouth I've done. <laughs> it looks looks actually fitting on him. Steampunk no Tim Burton. I'm a girl. Uh, you don't fool me, leprechaun. <laughs> Laughing Larry. That's this guy. He must have been like huffing a lot of like heliums and other gases. Um, well, laughing like gas, whatever. No, From, like, the Joker? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I remember thinking that was really scary when I was a kid. You know, there's the Batman Superman movie. Don't you guys uh, dude got hit with the Joker's gas, and he was just like, ah, ha, ha, ha. He was, like, just foaming at the mouth, and he c couldn't stop. Yeah, I mean, that can be terrifying. <laughs> So is this guy saying anything else other than the leprechaun? I mean, we're like the only non-Irish person here. Uh, nope. He's pretty much just lost it because he knows he's about to die. Or he thinks he's about to die because everyone else is, like, dying. You know, I really don't think that the funhouse door, the funhouse exit door is really that sturdily locked. You probably get through it if you wanted to, pal. Oh, he's not stuck here. It's just, uh... It's, it's just, like... The squid is coming. Actually, squid could probably grab him right now. Yes, it probably could have. So we go here to get some, get some advice from this lady, this real fortune teller. Uh, the obvious fortune teller. Unlike that clown, which only had some Ooh, foreshadowing. Yeah, there has got to be a fortune teller. Of course. Hello. No circus is complete without a without a Sarah. crystal ball. Wow, you knew. Hey, I thought that clown. Of course I did. Yeah, I wonder why they don't trust the clown there. The clown is a joke. Yeah, that clown... I, if I if I ever did, you know, fortune readings, I had, like, a, a thing of cards, like tarot cards, I would, like, I would draw it and say something, one thing, and then go into this long explanation and be like, oh, wait, this is a different card. And then, and then start going into a different explanation. Yeah. Yeah. So this lady knows what's up with us, and us not being uh, actually Sarah. Although outside forces conspire against you, how unusual! Your hands tell the stories of someone easily three huh. times your age. Well, I must. So she's the one who is giving us the advice at the hole, and she gives it to us again, just in case you know we have short-term memory. On your way huh. home, beware the pit of darkness. 
Basically, that's just the game telling us, like, oh, we shouldn't go in here yet. Yeah, you, it's, it's the hole, right? Yeah. Uh, the same hole? Yeah. And then she, she does this to me. Huh. That's nice of her. Actually, there was one more dialogue I wanted to read, so I went back there. With a transition, of course. Effect. Transition effect. I'm at another fortune teller. Yeah, we bring up the other fortune teller, and here she says... I don't know. I thought he was pretty good. Yeah, especially with all the foreshadowing. It's it's kind of a it's kind of a case where he's like more right than he knows. Oh no! Check this out. This is pretty funny. But I will humor you with one more reading. Let's see. Something she talks in the later half, and before. you could probably already read it already. is very interesting. It curves back on itself. Sometime in the near future, you will have a powerful machine. You will play games on this machine. A game called <laughs> a Sanitarium. How odd. Now oh. I'm completely... Now this is one of those cases where the, there was too much text for the dialogue box to show. Hocus pocus! Couldn't it? <laughs> Poof. Yeah, it's really not... You'd think they could have built, like, a little more section of bridge instead of having that be the way you get back. Yeah, it's just kind of weird, but I guess... But if they did that, then you wouldn't... Then the funhouse would be kind of pointless, wow, though. Oh, huh, yeah, maybe. So well, I mean, no, you have to get inside the funhouse to... Um, to get access the to the thing. Yeah. And so here's what the mirror's for. No way. Which, uh, if so you pay attention, you'll, you'll see what the deal is. Yeah. Inferno says I can use the... So I was trying to get in the water. I was like, oh, I know I gotta get the fire on, but I don't know what was up. Then I was like, oh, wait. Ah, oh, use the mirror to focus the light and the dry twigs. And start I thought the fire. it was, I thought it was like glass, and you just magnify the light. But I didn't know a mirror could just do that. I could be wrong. <laughs> you just strike the fire with the mirror, and then bam, it's on fire. I don't think that's how it works. Oh God. I know the action not sequence. Not going to waste deep in that water. This is uh, this is Death Trap Central. I actually almost do die. Not from the squid. I, I, I though. died several times in like, or not not several times, but I, I did at least one or once or twice in like all the action scenes in this game that I played. Well, it could have been worse. It could have been like a wax works where you didn't have a chance with Michael Jordan. Yeah. In, in the pyramid level. Yeah. See, one more hit and I'd be dead. So I actually have to like take my time because those um. Those stalagmites or stalactites falling from the ceiling, or uh, they keep hitting me. Yeah. Oh, Waxworks, what a game. Yes, it is. What a game it is. Even if I did have to look up a guide to beat it, I stay tuned for that one. So, yes, in that, the future. That one's coming if we ever, we ever do more games. Yes. So now we fight the squid, and I was actually supposed to lose according to this game, because for some reason he's not hitting me though. Yeah, he's like, he's like starting his arc in one place, but. What? <laughs> See you in hell, freak. Because remember, it's not actually Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's pretty. I'm just, I'm just thinking they had to get um, they had to get a little girl in this. <laughs> That's true. Never say that. That that must have been a fun story she to talk like, about. See you in hell, freak. Anyway, so that ends uh this oh. session of uh sanitarium part two. I thought there was more. Yeah, there is there is more, which we'll do a. Uh, next time, which is will be a short segment, too. Yeah, excellent. Oh, uh, yeah, you're telling me about this. Um, yes. Short segment, all right. Game. Yeah, so until uh, next time, hope you enjoyed this episode of uh, us commentating over Sanitarium. I'm Wizware100, and he's... Hitman, and so, goodbye. Uh, yeah, see you next time.